Are you thinking of bringing your team together for some training so that they have more team spirit, that they feel ready to smash your budgets, your targets, so they can work more cohesively? And you want them to be really empowered, believing in themselves so that they can do a brilliant job and enjoy and be motivated in their, in their work. If so, then you may have seen my videos, you may have seen people breaking boards, walking on glass, breaking arrows, walking on fire, bending rebars, and the thought, oh, I think that's a bit radical. And I can tell you that is my number one objection that I hear. It's the most popular objection is I don't think my team are ready for that. And so what I just want to share with you is that I understand why you would be thinking about your team's physical and emotional safety first. And in fact, that's my also my number one priority is that everybody is physically and emotionally safe. But what I want to share with you is the uh, celebration and victory that other companies have when they put their teams through this training. So I've worked with, I've worked in hospitality where I've worked with everybody from the pot wash to the CEO. Uh, I've worked, I work for some training companies where this program is their last uh, celebratory uh, dynamic ending to the program. I've worked with accountants and solicitors. I work with CEOs. I work with women's groups. So pretty much anybody with a pulse this applies to. And what I can tell you is that they love that feeling of understanding their own mind better, understanding why they think the way that they do, where their thoughts come from, having the opportunity to bring them from the unconscious mind where they stay silent, but navigators into that resistant or that holding us back into our safety space, help into our conscious mind where we can understand our thoughts and understand that they are just thoughts. And then we have the exercises such as the arrow break, the board break, the walking on glass. And these exercises each have an individual purpose and intention that is designed to forever change the internal belief about what we're capable of that is duplicatable in our jobs, in our relationships, in our hobbies, in our life. And that there's a way in which that we can allow ourselves to believe in ourselves, to trust ourselves. So companies that have been through this training, even the mildest and meekest of person that might have turned up thinking, I'm scared, they're held in their power for the whole session. And nobody is pushed into doing anything they don't want to do. Everybody steps up when the time is right for them. But the even the meekest and mildest and even the most verbose person still has that adrenaline, that um, fear come to the surface. But what I get them to feel and understand is how they move with it, not numb it or hide from it. And so people say, I didn't believe I was going to do that. I'm so glad I did it. And it stays with them forever. And they get to see who they truly are, not the stories they were told as a kid or that they've come to believe in themselves, but a new story, a new dialogue that um, frees them, liberates them from thinking and blocks that's held them back and allows them to be clear about who they are and where they're going and how to think and be. So it does take people from feeling invisible to feeling invincible with resourceful thinking. So if that's reassured you in any way and you would like to have a, a gentle conversation with me, I'd love to know what your needs are for your team and your business. And then we can see how we can create a training that supports your team's growth, self-belief and empowerment so that you and your company can be an even greater success. So I look forward to hearing from you. Sorry about Lexi. <laughs> <laughs>